Okay, I'm back and um, I'm going to show you um, a, a little bit more than normal. I'm going to do the uh, the mixing of the paint. So what I have here is a combination of Vallejo fluid and golden fluid. I made a different color here. This one is uh, bluish, you know, the teal color, but a little more on the blue side. This one is a little bit more on the green side. I have my flow troll, which I just shook up. You have to shake this stuff, guys. You really do. I see a little bit of um, stuff coming out of the flow troll that I don't like. Those little uh, goobers. It'll have to be a little bit more because I'm doing a 50 by 20. I'll see how uh, how this mixes. Now this is um, flow troll and paint only, but I'm going to give this a little bit more. And every time you use fluid uh, acrylics, it's a good thing to do is to shake up everything because um, I always do that. It's just better. You know, some some pigments will go to, drop to the bottom, and you just have to shake it up. So this is um, sort of like unbleached titanium. They, Golden calls it Titan Buff. It's a nice color. Looks a little um, off white. Not like eggshell. I think eggshell is just a little bit lighter. This is burnt sienna. And very intense color, considering how much Floetrol I added to the mix. But I'm going to add a little bit more. This is it, Burnt Sienna. And I'm not sure, no, there's no price tag on it. On some of the others there is. But it is very expensive paint. But I have it, so why not use it, right? Let's see how this is. Fine. Now this is the uh, the greenish turquoise color. Now, as you can see, it lightens up a little bit with the use of the flow troll. But you have to remember that flow troll, when it's dry, it will be uh, transparent. So that'll light uh, then darken. First, it's first. It <laughs> first, it's lighter, and then when it dries, it'll darken. Next one, this is the lighter turquoise, the bluish one. And what I really like is a really, really bright green. You know, one of those really pretty greens that are really, really bright. That's okay. This was the yellow. I don't want to add too much yellow because we all know yellow and, and turquoise will give you a shade of green and we already have green so that might happen we are you know you never know with pouring but it might all the green might be very prominent but we'll see this is the green I made this is uh, let's see Vallejo permanent green with Vallejo hands a yellow. So those two together make this beautiful, beautiful bright green. I really like this color. It's beautiful. And to spice it up a little bit, I made some gold. So this is... Always make sure to get the sides. That's important. Now we have a lot of uh, air bubbles going on, as you can see. And also in this, this is the uh, this is the gold, uh, nice color, not bronze but gold. Might make some more later if it if it doesn't come really come to the top. I might make some more right now. I'm thinking of putting that one in first so it comes out last. That's a lot. Mm. 
Now you can stir uh, all, all the micas and primary elements and everything. Primary elements has their own um, uh, fluid to put this stuff in. And I'll show you the bottle. This is what um, Color Art sells. It's called uh, Vivid, Vivid Multi-Surface Acrylic Paint. So that's stuff that you can uh, put all those micas in. And as you can see, that's a lot of, that's a lot of it, but I want to water it down just a little bit. That'll do. That's it. Making sure that it's all smooth. Okay, that's that. Only one thing I don't have within reach is my torch. Uh, there's not much gas in there. Okie dokie, we are ready. Let's make a little room here. Get the bottles out of the way. That's that. Got my little pellet knife. We don't need water. We don't need this one anymore. All we need is the colors. Now, the thing what you can do, if you have a lot of time on your hands, you just tap it like this. And as you can see, it all comes to the surface. And then you stir, tap. But you can see how much difference that that makes. And if you do that a couple of times and let that paint rest for about, I don't know, an hour or so, every once in a while giving it a tap and stirring it that will uh, at least take care of a lot of those um, air bubbles see the difference between that one and that one And if that fails, you can do this. Watch the bubbles there. See, there they go. But you have to do it really fast. Because if you don't, you'll uh, burn the plastic. <laughs> okay. There'll be little goobers in there somewhere because I saw them just pop out of the, uh, out of the bottle, but we'll see. Now, I'm going to do something, I'm going to pour that all in one cup, and for that I need a bigger cup, which I don't have. Well, I did find really huge cups, I'll show you how big they are. They come with lids, but these guys are huge, look at that. Well, let's use one. Why not? The only thing why, thing why I'm, I'm, I really don't want to use it. Plastic food container. One liter. Yeah, I'd rather have something that is half a liter. Because there's going to be a lot of... Um, there's going to be a lot of paint left in the cup. Unless I spray it with silicone. Let's try that. Okay, sprayed it with silicone. Now there's no silicone in the paint yet. So I'm going to do this color, this color, 
and this color. So three with, three, not four without, because I'm not gonna put any in the gold. So that's where I'm gonna keep it. And I'm going to put in not too much because somehow I don't think this this pour is going to be all about the um, about the cells, but more about you know just the pretty pour. Let's see. Okay. Now here we go. I'm gonna start with this color. I'm gonna put it all in because we might just give it a little swirl when everything's in the cup. Then I want the gold. Then the turquoise from up high so it makes a little splotch in the uh, in the cup. Then the brown, burnt sienna. And right now I'd like to stop because I think that this color combination is beautiful. If it would give me some cells, it would be really awesome. But we'll see. Got to use all the colors anyway. Yep, there went a little goober. that and the green and I hate to put the yellow in but I'm going to do it anyway okay we got all the paints in there Like I said, I am going to stir it one time like that. And now I'm going to tilt the canvas. Let's see if you can see it up here. And do something very strange what I normally don't do. Whoops over the side come down this way and now I can let it come down oh I see the big goober gotta get that out there it is see that that's going on the side that's good gonna help it a little There it goes. Now there's not much uh, cell stuff going on, but we'll see. We'll uh, put the torch to it. Warming it up a little.
This is a lot of torching, but I want to torch the whole thing because I want some of that gold popping back up. There it is, but it's not finished yet. Because, ooh, now I've got paint in my face here, yeah, a lot of it. Okay. What I'm going to do now is come back in, but this time with turquoise but very dark. So what I do is teal and phalo green. See that color? And I am going to go give it a little bit of um, silicone. Of course a little bit of Floetrol. Gonna mix it up there. and test if it's really good yep that's okay now i need some white i want some really popping uh, cells on top of up uh, ribbons on top of this one That's good. And I would like a little bit of the burnt sienna. See how fast this uh, paint mixes? It's really fast. Let's see if we got a good, yep, that's right. <coughs> I am going to add silicone to the uh, paints that I'm going to make the ribbons with. I'm going to stir it in just a little bit. Okay, that's ready. Now for the little cup. one but we're going to be tilting so we're going to add this ribbon but we're also going to tilt so that they become really broad a little bit more of that brown on top let's see what happens maybe scrape up a little off here off the uh just to fill it up a little. That works. Just to give it a little bit of a different color. Now here we go. That's really broad. That really is. Maybe one more. A little bit more with a little bit more definition there. Scoopy scoop scoop thing. Okay, this time from the other side, the broad bit. That's that. Now I would like to I just want to see what the uh, airbrush might do. Oh no, pretty. Let's not do that. Because I'm seeing awesome cells coming uh, coming popping up. Gonna make them broader. 
See that? And all of a sudden, we're seeing the uh, the gold metallic. Whoops, that's it. That is pretty. Now this way around. Wait a minute. I don't want to pour off too much of the... Well, I'll, it'll have to. There we go. Okay, now we have this broad thing we put on top. Oh, you're not very well in focus, I'm sorry. That looks a little better. Okay, what we are seeing is a lot of gold coming up. This all is gold. This whole bit is gold. And that's all the mica. So over here, that's all gold. A lot of gold popping up. So when this baby's dry, it's going to be really, really cool to look at, I'm pretty sure. And um, I might even do something to, uh, on top of it. Because it just calls for that. I do like how... The, there's a really sharp line going down here with this ribbon and this ribbon you know almost exploded with, with cells so I really like that and I love the overall color because I normally don't do colors like this so you know just to spice it up a little I thought I'd do these different colors so all I'm doing now is just touching up a little on the uh, on the corners making sure that everything's covered that one is covered let me just pick it up and look nope got one little one little corner left here okay this will look good e e any way you you hang it let's just make that a little longer there I like this bit just a little longer. Okay, we're ready. Maybe a little broader. Yeah, that's it. Okay, putting it away. We will see what happens when it's dry. Uh, let's see if I can do one little I'm not sure if that's going to work, but we'll see. Put some silicone in there. Put some spray in there. Why not? Okay. Now, putting that solid color on there. This is almost solid. There's the goober. Just making that look solid. That's it. Okay, that's kind of cool. Let's put this back down the middle. A little bit more color here. I'm looking for a little bit more color. Well, let's see what it does. See, while I do this, um, I'm looking for uh, little bits that are looking really beautiful to put in a pendant. That's, that's always, you know, my first thing that I'm thinking about when I'm doing squishes. But everything that I, that I don't use as a pendant, I can always use, you know, in a, in a collage or something like that. But oh, that's sort of starting to look really cool, this bit here. Let me get in close. Not sure if you can 
pick it up totally, but let me point it out for you. See, I would take this, put that smack in the middle, have a few cells on both sides. That is kind of cool. But this also, I like where something comes down the middle of a pendant. So I'm going to keep this one. Ooh, I don't have paper on the table. Okay. So I just want to do one more. I promise only one. So I'm sort of looking where I can make it come down and go that way. And now I'm adding a little bit of that turquoise. And the bright green. it then we're going to come in with the white a little bit more clean off the palette knife not enough. Don't fall off the table, please. Okay. See all the cells already popping? But we're going to help it a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to let the paint come to the middle. It takes a little bit because you want to wait for the gravity to get set in. Okay, now it's set in. And then I'm going to let it come down like that. And the white isn't really keeping the uh, formation of the cells that well. I don't know why that is. Oh yeah, that's golden. <laughs> that's probably why. I'm not used to this type of paint. Should have made some, uh, eh. let's see, I have some left from last week. Well, it's a mess anyway. Let's make more mess. I'm not sure if there's silicone in here, so let me add, add a little bit. Yeah. Now let's see the difference. And I don't even know what, what paint this is, to tell you the truth. Oh, so different. <laughs> like I said, let's make a mess. Well, this one is not something that uh, I'd like to keep, so that one's gone. One more. Now let me scrape up a little gold. And a little of that. And then, where's the other color? Here it is. better. There's a lot of paint still in that cup. Let's see. Now let 
let's see what happens. Now that is interesting. I like this. Yeah, this will do. Okay, see here that this middle middle shot. I might even I might even put that in like this. That is pretty. So this one we're gonna keep. Okay, right now, now guys, this is it. I'm gonna stop. I'm going to um, upload a couple. This one I'm keeping for Sunday. So you'll have something to watch straight away in early in the morning. And I'd like to say have a beautiful, beautiful Saturday. Spend some time with your family and have a lot of fun. Maybe go be creative together, who knows? So love you all to pieces. Liebe euch alle, hoffe jullie allemaal, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.